guys, Chris here, indoors, outdoors with Edgy, and uh, I'm down the beach again. It's about 5, 5.40 in the morning. I've actually got my new detector, the Equinox, the Mine Lab Equinox 800. I'm going to trial it, give it a go. I'm back at the same beach that I come to a little bit, and I've found a few good things here. So I'm going to try the Equinox and uh, just see if it, it picks up things that my smaller detector doesn't. Um, so let's get on the beach and uh, I'll set this thing up. I've watched a few videos. I don't really know too much about it. I'm just going to go with the basic settings, basic beach settings, and then we'll uh, then we'll go for a scan. So let's go. Rightio, guys. Here's the um, here's the new detector, the Mine Lab Equinox 800. Comes down here to this thing. It's not small and compact like the little GoFind 66, but anyway, we'll give it a crack. We'll see what she can find. All right, guys. I've just uh, just been walking along with the new detector. About ten meters. Getting that signal down here. It's giving me a number, five to three to five. So looking like it's right here. So I'll put this down. We'll scoop it up with the scoop. We'll scoop it up here and we'll see what it tells me it is. I'll pull the scoop right out of the way. So I'll put it back here. You've got a pile of pile in the sand. A pile of stuff in the sand. Let's have another. Still scanning there, it's two and a one. I'll just see if it's anything in the scoop here. Just don't forget I'm trialing this trialing this new detector, so we'll go. So there's nothing in that thing I took out, so I'll get the sand scoop again and we'll dig we'll dig at the end here. Dig out another big scoop, drag her out of the way. So it's coming up as a number two, number two, number one. So I'm not sure if it's something pretty deep. Could be. Could be something deep. Let's have another look. This is probably going to be a long dig. Okay, so we've got nothing in there now. So I'm assuming it's in the scoop. So let me let me pour that out. from there I'm hoping it's telling me it's a number four so I'm gonna listen to the sound okay what do we got let's have a look oh aluminium shit okay so that was a number four right there, guys so I've got a signal I've got two other signals one was a pull tab um, I've got another signal down here. Rang up on a, rang up on the detector as a 12 to 14, and uh, as you can see, I've been digging a couple of things out, but found a coronavirus. So bottle caps on the Mine Lab 800 look like they're ringing up as 12 to 14. All right, guys, I've got another signal down here, and it's sort of ringing up. 18, 13, 18, 13. So I thought I'd give it a dig for you. Dig it live because it's a different number. So let's see what that one, that number pulls out. Get the detector. I'll take out one scoop at a time. Now it's 14. It's on 14 now, so we'll. Uh, I think I'm... see. It's a pretty deep friggin' hole. Okay, so there's no... nothing scoop. So it's in the scoop. Could be aluminium. Could be aluminium. And 
it's a bottle cap. Bottle cap. Down pretty deep. Anyway. Alright guys, I got another weird signal down here on the screen, on the 800 screen. It was coming up, <coughs> I think 21, but it only flashed up a few times, so I put the pinpointer on. And that. So I pulled it out. So if I put, if I push this button here, this horseshoe, and it brings up the rest of that full iron. Now it's shining negatives in the negatives, so you know it's a, you know it's a bit of bit of crap. So let's just, let's just, uh, I'll get the scoop and I'll just scoop up a bit of sand here. See what it is. Let's see what's in the scoop. Could be nothing. Nothing in there as yet. Uh, let's try this side. Can't be too deep. Anyway, I don't know. I might suss it out and see what I find. Right, hey guys. So I pulled out one scoop from that spot, and you can probably see in there it's a nail. So that's why it wasn't beeping normally. I had to put the full iron signal on just to pick up the metal. All right, guys, still black as the ace of spades here. It's only early. I think the time is, oh, what is the time? 6.20. Okay, well, I've got a signal down there. I've got it out because it's not beeping anymore. It was only ringing up as a six. Ringing up as a six, so it's obviously in a scoop. So let's just shake it. Let's shake it. Oh, there it is. A little bit of L4 crap. Okay. Picking up crap, no good ones yet. Alright, guys, so I forgot I had my uh, full metal on. So I'll press the horseshoe. That'll just eliminate all the iron signals. Anyway, I got a little signal down there. Pull it up here, and you can see right here. It's a hair clip. Anyway, it's better than rubbish, I suppose. At least it's an actual item. Huh. Okay, let's, let's find some coins. Okay, guys, as you can see, I've dug a massive friggin' hole here. It's about two foot deep. Chasing a signal. There it is. Old bit of metal. Huh. Something was there. I was telling me it was there. Anyway, that's about two foot. Right, our guys, uh, starting to get sunshine. I got a signal down here. It's a bit different. So it's 28, going up to 28, which I've only had rubbish. It's only been like 12s. And, oh, here we go. Bottle cap. Bottle cap. Right, our guys, finished on the beach. Uh, first go with the Mine Lab Equinox 800. Pretty happy with the settings pretty happy with the controls because I've been using the GoFine 66 it's uh, it's similar just not as advanced as the 800 so yeah pretty happy with it I didn't find anything interesting or any treasures or even any coins of that matter but it was picking up some pretty small metal metallic things and also some stuff that was pretty deep I think one of them was nearly two foot anyway let's get on for the wrap Righto guys, I uh, made it home from the beach, um, basically I was testing the Equinox 800, the new one that I got, now I got this, my wife and my family got it for me for my birthday, basically my birthday is not till next month in April, but I'm taking a friend water detecting this Sunday, so uh, my wife said to me, yep, well you know, why don't you pull it out and use it, that way you've got one each, and you'll have double the chance of finding stuff, so Anyway, I just wanted to take it out and have a test run with it just to see how it's not that much different to the GoFind. A little bit. There's a little bit of difference uh, in regards to numbers being the uh, readings with the targets and so forth. But everything else is similar. There's just a lot more, a lot more to set up, which watched a couple of videos on it through YouTube and got it set up easy. So let's have a look and see what I got. 
All right, so I didn't find too much out there today. Um, you got your usual bottle tops. I did find a hair clip. That was a lot of little stuff. Real small. This thing here, this bloody U-shaped bit of steel was down about two foot in the sand. So Mine Lab Equinox 800 picks up very fine materials. You know, even just a little bit of a nail here that's rusted to the crap. But perfect, uh, perfect machine. I've been to this beach a number of times now, so I've probably cleaned out most of it. Uh, unless they drop, unless people drop something new. Uh, yeah, so anyway, the mine lab was good. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Uh, basically just a test run to uh, make sure I know how to use the uh, Anchor X800, the Equinox 800. Because uh, I'm going to be doing some water hunting this Sunday. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Not, not much to cheer about. Didn't even find a coin really, so probably not many people going to the beach at the moment. So anyway, indoors, outdoors with Edgy, I'm Chris. I'll see you on the next hunt.